with Brexit officially done now, um, I'm gonna explore in this video whether it could cause Mercedes to leave Formula One. Now about a year ago, Total Wolf had the following to say, he said, I know dear Brexit would have a major impact on our operations going to races and developing cars. We, we have certain contingencies in place like having more stock and thinking about how we would get parts and people in and out the country but it would be a disruption and would cause all the UK teams a lot of headache headache while Ferrari and Saub F Ferrari in it while Ferrari in Italy and Sauber Alfa Romeo in Switzerland would have a massive advantage over UK based teams at the time I thought like what is he on about because he is making he was making out that um, it was only Mercedes that was actually facing that problem. Well, in in reality, it's um, eight of the eight of the current Formula One teams off the grid on the grid. You know, it's like 80 80 percent that would be affected. So um, you know, and he. I, I felt like he was making it out to be just um, a disadvantage to, to towards Mercedes and uh, at the time I really felt a, b a bit um, kind of didn't quite understand what, what all the fuss was about but now I, I, I think I found the, the, the real reason behind it uh, but before I give you my my thoughts on what the, what the real reason is I think um, I'm gonna give you a second quote from Total Wolf. He said the following, I think I'm the one who is responsible for motor racing activities, but I'm also the first one to acknowledge that in times when the auto when the auto industry is changing that all activities need to be looked at. Formula One and motor racing genera generally is an activity that we believe is powerful. Our core DNA, the first Mercedes ever, the first ever Mercedes was a race car. I think we need to become more efficient. I think we need to provide a solid business case. We need to reduce the contribution from Daimler into our exercise. And if we can, if we are able to achieve that, then we're we're in Formula One for the long term. Now I'm gonna give you um, my thoughts on it. I think, and this is gonna be a long one, that um, Daimler wants to get out of Formula One, despite what they've said and despite what um, that they denying it, denying it. Um, I think they want fully concentrate on Formula E and all this excuses about the Brexit is absolute BS you know it was just a, um, a fake reason but I think the real reason is that as I said the um, Daimler sees the um, the Formula One pro project as, ob as um, outdated Um I think that the one of the, that's the reason why Lewis Hamilton has not re-signed his contract yet. I think he wants he wants to um he he's gonna end up at Ferrari and I think um Toto I think Toto um wants wants to sell um wants to go into business with uh Lawrence Lawrence Stroll um um and uh, you know as has been reported uh, previously in the media. Media. I think that's gonna happen. Um, so do I think that Brexit um, will cause um, Mercedes to leave Formula One? The answer to that, in my opinion, and remember, this is only what I think. So uh, please don't hate me. I think the answer to that is it's not Brexit that's the reason for Mercedes wanting to leave. It's it's um, Formula E.
Anyway guys, this is just what I think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Cheers for listening. If you haven't already, please do consider to like, comment and subscribe. Um, and uh, I would just like to give a quick shout out to... Um, Tom, Tomo F1, he's hit, he's hit um, 10,000 um, subscribers just recently and uh, gave me a shout out. So I saw I'll return the favor. Um, so um, if you haven't already, please check out his channel. It's awesome. And also, don't forget to check out uh, F1 Fanatics um, at the same time. All right. Speak to you later, guys. Bye.